What's going on, my fellow A plusers? Welcome back once again, my fellow patrons, to a brand new episode. It is I, your more phenomenal host, as always, Adam Perez, certainly coming through for an early access Patreon video for you, fellow patrons. So, thank you very much for your continued support. Getting early access to our Go Kaiju reviews as we're about to get into episode number 24 of this season, ladies and gentlemen. And then eventually, these videos will be made public to the general public. So, I certainly hope whatever you're watching it, whether you're part of our subscription base or in fact, one of our Patreons. Thank you very much for your continued support, guys, each and every day. But um, listen, we just had a fantastic sort of sisterly duo, if you will, uh, a great story told between Luca and uh, him uh, in episode number 23 as that we wind up doing last week for you guys. So I'm um, really excited to kind of see what the trajectory of this episode is certainly going to be. Um, at the very start of this video, I've got, um, it looks like Gokai Silver is in fact highlighted here. Now, whether or not he's going to be the main focus this week or if he's partnering up with somebody, we should certainly see, but I've really enjoyed how they've utilized Guy um, and really have had him uh, work alongside different members of our uh, Go Kaiser team here, really just to see how his personality kind of shapes them or how their personalities help him out also at the end of the day. So really been enjoying his uh, addition to the team, and we'll see what episode number 24 certainly has in store for us. So as always, guys, uh, we will not be showing video due to copyright, but we will be providing you with a timestamp just to make sure that we're all on the same page or the same time, I should say. If you would like to watch the video along with us, I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below so you can certainly follow along if you'd like. But um, other than that, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. You guys know how we love to do around here when we start to make sure we're all on the same page. Three, two, one, play is when we hit that play button. So here we go. Three, two, one, play. I love eating out, probably too much. I've never had rotating sushi, but I do love sushi. I've just never been to a place like that that has like a conveyor belt. Takoyaki? What's that? Takoyaki? Oh, is that uh, Jelicito? Flammable garbage day. <laughs> That's messed up. She's like, here, hold on to this trash for me. Everybody's treating him. No respect around here. <laughs> what are those, Azini? Takoyaki. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Organic garbage. Poor guy. What? Huh? Oh, guys, you can do anything for food at this point. Yo. <laughs> Yo, the special effects on his face, creepy, man. Um, I haven't seen Jelicito since that really odd, just crazy off the off the charts, or not even off the charts, but just the most ridiculous episode I've ever seen. Um, when he had the love affair with him, um, uh, Isan, I believe, from the Zangyak, and then, what was it, Car Ranger, I believe it was. Uh, just a really weird sort of, uh, like, love triangle episode that they had going on. I had no idea what that episode was all about, but uh, it's been a minute since we had Jelicito, but I at least enjoyed sort of the comedy aspect of that episode, and that's exactly where he really came in. Um, definitely brought some great humor to the episode, to say the least. So I'm expected to definitely laugh in here for sure. Uh, this guy is just trying to be accepted at this point. Like, nobody wants him. The Earthlings are treating him like garbage. Zang Zang the Zanyak have thrown him out into the trash. Now he's willing 
willing to be somebody's pet just for food sort of thing. I have no idea what to expect in here considering the fact that it's what the idea of the Gokai just wanting to go out and maybe eat uh, and find something to eat and they maybe bump into this guy again. We'll see. We'll see. I have no idea where this episode is going, though. But I am eager to see Jelicito back just because of the humor that he does and that he at least brought to the last episode he was in. I thought he was going to stick around. I didn't think that was the last that we would see of him. I felt like even after this, he pops up again. But um, I might be wrong in that sense. But we'll see. What's this? Episode 24. Foolish Earthlings. <laughs> they got business cards? <laughs> He's putting them to sleep. He's saying, just get out there, man. You didn't got to give us your whole plan. Takoyaki. I got to remember to try that out one day. I don't know where to even get that from. Oh, is he trying to teach you how to shake? What the? Wow. <laughs> wow. What's that? Oh, my God. He's sending out propaganda leaflets. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Trying to showcase how great the Zanyak are. <laughs> wow. Oh, homeboy's playing fetch, too. Yo, Jealousito. Okay. Is he going to catch it with his mouth? Okay, at least he didn't catch it with his mouth. <laughs> Ooh, Asan sees him. Will she come down to talk to him? Oh, damn. See, they're after him, too. <laughs> I love how Joe's just looking away like, whatever, dude. I want nothing to do with this. <laughs> they really have no more. Like, the Goku just literally have no motivation to kind of get involved. Like, they're only getting involved because Guy is, like, really getting on Captain Marvelous right now. Like, all right, all right, we'll do something. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they doing a roll call in the middle of fighting? Okay. Oh, that was dope. He holding that sideways. Ooh, poor Doc. <laughs> Ooh, nice axe kick. That was great of him.
Oh, that's cool. Ooh, Mega Ranger. Okay. Ooh, a triple slash. I love it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yo, Red didn't even move. Captain Marvel's just stood there. I love it. <clears throat> Who are they changing to? Oh, Hurricane Ranger. Ah, oh, boo. Ooh, so she not feeling his face. Okay. She left. Oh, he's leaving too? They're leaving they're literally leaving Homeboy in charge of everything. I mean, I feel like he's been um pretty much doing all the military stuff anyway. <laughs> Joe's like, no, please don't. <laughs> yeah, man. That's pretty oppressive. Holding him down like that. You gonna set him free? Ooh, his pupil to teach him how to make it? Yes. Jealousito, you can make a, a startup business for yourself here. The first alien takoyaki. I've never had takoyaki, but I would love to try. Yes, a space takoyaki, takoyaki uh, stand. I dig it. You got to start somewhere, Jealousito. <laughs> they they really don't want too much to do with them. They're like, yeah, bro, just just that's yeah, a great idea. Just do it. <laughs> oh, gotta talk to Mama. Uh oh. Oh, that's her. She put the organic garbage out. Oh no. This might be a hard convince. Oh. Oh. Damn, she is kind of president pre prejudice. I said, "Who told you that?" Of course, we wash our hands. See, <laughs> damn, she's mean to fucking aliens, huh? Yeah, she's definitely racist against aliens, bro. Mm. That's right. You tell her you, you tell her, Luca. Stuck in her old ass ways. Can't accept new people, you know what I'm saying? Don't want aliens to have the same equal representation as Earthlings. That's fucked up. <laughs> Damn, Captain Marvel has put him in his place. That's crazy. He didn't even lift a finger. He's just like, yo, you better wait.
His send in is he getting like supportive of him now? Yeah, it's a problem. Oh crap. Oh, a bazooka? Holy crap. Oh, I love that morphing sequence. Why'd they stop it short? In the middle of flames. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool shot. Oh, that looked painful. They couldn't re they couldn't retake that. I know Doc is clumsy, but damn, I don't think he's that clumsy. Ooh, that's a cool. Oh, nice. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. Oh, sh he took it for her. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, lady. He sacrificed himself for you. Is that organic garbage, bitch? People fearing what they don't understand, man. They ain't all the same. See, such wonderful aliens exist. Damn, lady. I hope you feel bad. <laughs> At least he's still alive. He'll make it. He'll push through. Right? Mm, from my point of view, you are an alien. Wow, hitting her with that knowledge. <laughs> I don't know if they're. I'm trying to figure out if, like, if the Gokai just really care if some of them do. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Luca, <laughs> fool. <laughs> wow. Oh, snap. We're going to Time Force now? Hey, I'll take Time Ranger any day of the week. <laughs> this lady. I love this music. I don't think I've heard this one before.
Oh, that's cool. I do love this music. I don't know what this background music is, but I'm digging it. I think it fits perfect for Go Kanger. Isn't that Isan's job usually? Yeah, she really didn't want to see Jelicito's face. But, you know, maybe she'll be impressed. I mean, when he goes on to hopefully have his own uh, 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 takoyaki shop out in space, she'll see, like, look at this inspiring entrepreneur. Maybe fall in love with them or something. Yeah, hit me with that go Jujin. Damn, that looks so fire. Gonna hit that triple 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 drill crash crush or whatever. Oh, what is that? Send in wave? That's a cool looking attack. Who's that? Ooh, okay, using that wild force grand power. Nice. Damn, yo, that I never I never get tired of this big ass samurai geary sword. This samurai sword of theirs. I will say this. Sometimes I feel like when it comes to these Zord battles, like do we like I don't even necessarily know if we need the triple drill dream to finish it off. Like I feel like that first slash alone was enough, right? Like it's almost like we just gotta show off what all these Zords can really do. Huh? <laughs> what the? F what just happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> wow. They really did that. Homeboy goes from becoming his pet to stealing his mama. Like, literally. That's crazy. Don't say you have a child. Oh, my God. Poor guy. Lost his mama, lost his pet. Wait, wait. Is that how it ends? Is that how the episode ends? 
Yo, what is up with Jelicito being in the most ridiculous episodes? Like, I feel like anytime I see this guy now, that's just going to be the expectation I have of that episode, to be perfectly honest with you. Damn, that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> First off, the nonchalant attitude of the Go Kaijers this week were just so great. It was almost like they weren't having it just as much as I wasn't, like... Oh, what's going on with this guy? Like, is he up to something ridiculous again? Like, do we have to be here? Like, I absolutely loved it. Like, Joe and Captain Marvelous really wanted nothing to do with it. Everybody else was just kind of on the on the ride, if you will. But Guy certainly trying to be that person to to explain, like, you know, just the idea of you know treating aliens the correct way and giving them opportunities and stuff, and you know, don't don't leave them behind type of stuff. It really is the only reason why the Go Kai just wind up getting involved, but. First of all, I like the idea of, of Jelicito going out and becoming like his own businessman and, and selling Taki. Uh, I don't, I'm not even going to butcher the name right now. But I honestly thought that was a really great and clever idea for him. I thought that's how the episode was honestly going to start off, you know, or, or or finish off. The idea that his master or his now his teacher, if you will, was going to teach him, um, despite the fact that his clearly the guy's mom was prejudiced against aliens and didn't want anything to do with it. I just thought maybe the fact that he saved her life, jealousy to saving the mom's life would maybe open her eyes a little bit to the idea of like, you know what? Thank if for saving my life, you shall have a shop of your own and you can run this business in space, if you will. I, I see that aliens are, in fact, a lot different than what I certainly expected them to be. So I thought we were going to have something great like that. I didn't know him saving his life, save, <laughs> him saving her life was going to turn her into like this. Um, uh, what do they call it? Like, sur not it's not survivor's remorse. What do they call it? Like when the people fall in love with those that have saved their lives or something like that, right? Like that's exactly like doctor, like patients that fall in love with their doctor because their doctor saved their lives and stuff. Like things like that do happen. So I thought maybe, you know, maybe that's what she's she kind of fell into in here, uh, and now um, sees the error of her of her ways. And Jelicito wouldn't have saved me if he didn't love me. He he put his life on the line, type of thing. I mean. Who knows if that's how it went, but damn, I did not, I did not, I did not expect it to go that way. Um, you know, listen, overall, Jealousy though does definitely bring great um, humor to the episode. Definitely made me laugh a ton in here, but this episode doesn't really amount to much. There's really, there's really no story progressing here at all, really, except for Jelicito. Um, So we'll see if he pops back up here again, married, maybe having kids <laughs> with her. Who knows at this point in time, right? Um, so guys, listen. At the end of the day, though, these are just my A-plus opinions, but I certainly want to know yours. Was this episode as ridiculous as I certainly thought it was? Did you think this episode was more ridiculous than the last time we saw Jelicito? Certainly go ahead and let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat or the comment section box below, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and do it for us here today, my fellow patrons and subscribers. So thank you very much for certainly watching. Uh, we'll definitely be back later on this week with another episode. But until then, do me a big favor. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, Keep it A+. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.